Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a very quick update video on the Gucci Brixton loafers and the Sam Edelman Lorraine loafers. If you watched my video a couple weeks ago, you know that I ordered both of these. They're both pretty new to me. Actually, the very first pair that I got of the Brixtons, they didn't work out. They were a half size larger and there were other issues, so I wound up returning them, but I did order again half size down from the Gucci website directly, which I highly recommend that you do if you're considering ordering these loafers to go directly to Gucci not only for the better packaging but I found that the condition and the quality was much better when it came from Gucci Direct versus from the department stores. So anyway, I have both of these. I've worn them both now on two occasions each. So I feel like it's pretty fair to compare even though it's very early on. I wore these twice and I would say it walked around a total of maybe 30 blocks uh, on those two occasions total and the same thing for the Brixton's I wore them on two occasions and probably roughly between 20 and 30 blocks So not much of a distance But enough to get a feel for the comfort and the wear and in the last video I talked about sending the Gucci ones out to the shoe cobbler to get rubber soles put on them and I know that some of you commented saying you wish you could see the rubber soles how much do they cost to get them put on so I wanted to quickly do this video um, as fast as possible so I could show you this is what it looks like now this is worn so it's gonna look a little dirty but here I'll flip it over this way I think it looked really beautiful when they first had me come and pick up the shoes from the cobbler. I was really amazed at how beautiful and seamless um, they put the rubber soles on. So the reason why I put the rubber soles is because I want to maximize the longevity of these loafers. They were $850 and I want them to last for a really long time. I have done a lot of research and I talked to a few sales associates and um, they own them themselves and they said basically that if you get soles on them and you get them resold every couple of years, these will last pretty much a lifetime. So I'm gonna go based on what I was told and also the research that I did. So yeah, look at the sides. It looks like it's just part of the shoe. Also, I live in Manhattan, right? So I walk a lot and I also walk in all kinds of weather. So if it's raining, if it's snowing, this all leather sole is not gonna hold up. If you put a little dab of water, you can instantly change the color of the leather. Like it just, you you can see, I mean, not that you wanna experiment because this is so gorgeous, but if you get a dab of water and go like this, you would immediately see the color change and the streak and it wouldn't change back to the original. That is how sensitive this leather is. Um, and I know because I did this before getting it rubber, the rubber soles, I touched it with wet hands and it made an imprint of the watermark and it did not go away. So I know this from experience, now it's hidden under the rubber soles, but also I wanted the traction because um, if you're just walking on their leather soles, it's very slick and smooth. So aside from wear and tear, I mean, you could just like slip if it's um, wet out or if it's icy out. So definitely want a little bit of traction and I'm sorry that it's a little dirty, but this is what it looks like after two wears. And also on the heels, they put the matching rubber sole. And I think it just looks very, um, very natural like as if the shoes came like this and i do think that they're going to be much more comfortable to wear and they're going to last a lot longer now in terms of cost it was 75 dollars but i just want to explain they charged me $75 to put the rubber soles on and then also to polish and treat the leather here. So the guy asked me, would you like me to polish and uh, condition the leather and put water resistant protection? And I said, well, you don't need to polish and condition it because they're brand spanking new and I haven't worn them out yet. And he said, actually, that's the best time to do it. So I don't know if that's true or not, but I, you know, he's a shoe cobbler, so I trusted him. So he said on brand new leather that has not already been out and about and kind of exposed to all the elements better to protect it then so he conditioned it he polished it and then he put some sort of water resistant coating I was a little bit concerned that it was going to change the shine and the suppleness of the leather but it looks exactly the same as when I sent it in granted there are more wrinkles here now and that's from me just from walking around the back is still pretty neat you know there's a little bit of wrinkling but not much Remember my very first unboxing video with the half size that was larger? It was so wrinkled and it was actually really stretched out. So I'm glad I returned those and got these. Um, this is more like normal creasing from walking. And that's for me, like I said. So yep, $75 for the total to, um, to 
polish it, condition it, and to protect it with water resistance, and then to also put the soles on. So I don't know how much it would have cost if I had said just put the rubber soles. Maybe it would have been a little bit cheaper. I don't, I don't think it would have been that much cheaper, but that is what I paid. Manhattan prices, of course. I feel like Manhattan always charges a little bit more for everything. My mom complains that even eggs and orange juice are more expensive when she comes to visit me here than when she, you know, when she shops by where she is outside the city. So um, I also wanted to share, oh, here's the bottom of the Sam Edelman ones. Again, this is based on two wares. So you can see here. Now these are not true leather. I think they're man-made soles. So they're gonna be a little bit more hardy, which is why I didn't bother with getting rubber soles put on them. And they're not as slick. They're just a little bit different than the all leather ones on the Gucci's. But you can see here, because this is a tan color, you can see a lot more of the wear on the sole. And here, because the rubber is black, just doesn't look as worn. But these, again, very comparable. They were worn pretty much the exact same amount still very very new to me uh, creasing I feel like the Gucci ones are creasing more um, some say that is a sign of higher quality leather which okay if that's the case you can see here also the Gucci ones are shinier and that is not because of the conditioning that the shoe cobbler did they were always shinier um, I did say in one of my previous videos in the initial try on it was my yeah the original unboxing um, I do like these ones because they come up a little bit lower. They hit a little bit lower, so they expose more of the foot. I'll show you. And the Gucci ones come up a little bit higher. So from a design standpoint, like just aesthetically speaking, I do like this uh, length here. It's just a little bit shorter, as you can see, maybe a half an inch or so. It, it just feels a little bit more feminine. I had mentioned that. However, now that it's getting colder, now we're well into November and the temperatures are dropping. I am finding that I do like, even though it's such a small difference, I do like the extra coverage. I feel like it's a little bit more toasty for my feet on the Gucci. So, you know, they're, they're just a little bit different. In terms of cushioning, I had talked about the Sam Edelman ones being really cushiony. They have... Um, there's like actually a cushion back here on the heel. I think there's a little bit more arch su support and I have high arches, so that's important. So I still think that the inside of the Sam Edelman ones are more padded. But the other thing to consider is that, and let me take these out. I'm just keeping these, the tissue paper inside to maintain the shape and I'll store them like this each time. But if you can see on the inside, the Gucci ones are all leather all around, inside, outside, everywhere, okay? So because it's all leather, something about this feeling when you put your feet in it, it kind of like hugs your feet. It's very soft. It's very supple. It's like, um, I don't know. It just feels so nice. It's not as cushioned as the Sam Edelman's. But the leather feeling is so luxurious. I don't know how to explain it. It's just really, really nice. So if you're thinking, oh, I might get the Gucci Brixton's, but then put it in insert, I wouldn't do that. Uh, honestly, if you, if you really need a lot of support, maybe go for the Sam Edelman's or a different style because you're kind of blocking, if you put an insert in, you're kind of blocking this beautiful, amazing leather bottom here that would hug your feet. So you see what I mean? So I don't know. I'm not going to walk super, super long distances with this. You guys know I always love to wear my Cole Haan tennis sneakers. I'll link them down below because I keep getting questions all the time. So I'll try to link them as often as I can. Um, but when I'm going long distances or walking a lot, sometimes I'll walk like 100 blocks in a day. Then if I know I'm going to do that, I'm going to wear my Cole Haan sneakers, not these. But these are good for shorter walks, like maybe up to, like I said, maybe 30, maybe even 50 blocks. I don't know, but... Um, I wouldn't say they're like great for exercising either. Like if you're really going to walk a lot and get a workout in, which is obvious, they're loafers. Loafers are not meant for that. So let me pull these out and show you. Okay. And the last time I also weighed these. Oh, let me show you actually really close up. What is that? Um, I said I wore these twice, right? So I don't know if you can see right there. Can you see right there? There's like a little bit of wear at the tip right here. And that's because I wasn't used to wearing loafers. I'm still not quite used to them. I have to, I have to just keep practicing. Um, 
That sounds so funny, practice wearing loafers. But you know, this is a style that's very new to me, right? Uh, when I was walking, I was hanging out with my friends in Brooklyn, actually, the first time that I wore these. It was the same day that I picked them up from the cobbler, and I was so excited. So that evening, when I was going to Brooklyn, I just wore them straight away. And as I was getting out of the car, you know, I think my foot like kind of went like this and scraped along the concrete street and it made a tiny bit of a mark here i'm not upset these are shoes they're meant to be worn and they're going to get banged up but i just want to show you that this is going to happen um, so if you're trying to figure out if these are worth it for you or not just want to show you everything to consider but otherwise looking good i did weigh these in my first video and i wait i want to weigh them one more time um, because the first time the the gucci's that i had were a size 38 and a half and now these are 38 and these are also an eight so now they're finally the same size and i also want to weigh with the rubber soles put on so i'm going to just quickly get my scale and i do this because well you know i weigh my handbags too i don't like heavy things but especially for shoes lighter usually means more comfortable um, i like lighter and more flexible shoes so i'm gonna put this on because the shoes are now dirty i don't want to put them on my scale okay so here's the gucci one that's coming in at 8.9 ounces that's with the new rubber sole put on okay 8.9 ounces and then the Sam Edelman's, nine ounces. So it's so, so, so similar in weight. So I wanted to show you that. Also really quickly, wanted to show you this. I know you didn't ask, but um, because these are the more affordable you know, option compared to the Gucci's, these are about $130. The Gucci's, like I said, are uh, $850. My daughter, my little mini, she wanted a pair. So I got her these Sam Edelman pink ones. She chose them. And these are $60, the kid size. Super cute, basically just the mini version of the grown-up size. So we can kind of twin, right? So if you have a little one and you wanted to also twin with them, there are many different colors, many different options, and it's not going to break the bank because it's not super expensive. But yeah, hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully that answers the questions that I got recently. Let me know your thoughts. Are you team Gucci? Are you team Sam Edelman? Do you own any of them? I know my first uh, unboxing video, I got a lot of interesting comments and suggestions, which was really helpful for me. I'm happy to have both. I'm going to probably interchange them. Um, these I'm going to baby a lot less, to be honest with you. And these I might dress up a little bit more, but uh, yeah, I mean, this is my first time trying loafers of any kind, and I'm actually really happy to get this new style going. So thanks so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.